closer to the edge Come a little bit closer, I promise I won't let go Come a little bit closer to the brink Come a little bit closer, don't let yourself think too much Come a little bit closer to the light Think a little bit harder about what you might do Come a little bit closer to the truth Think a little bit harder about what scares you most I said this place isn't the tip top but it comes pretty close i mean all the food's authentic the staff is super friendly i've never had a bad experience here so i hope you enjoy the spot yeah excuse me are you ready to order um, a couple minutes please yeah, perfect. No, take your time. thank you it does seem like it's kind of a hidden gem oh yeah it certainly is <laughs> cool um what were you gonna get um, well, I typically get the carbonara pasta. It's got bits of bacon and oh, the eggs. It's an Italian classic. Uh, what about you? What are you getting? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, that sounds good. I'm vegan, though, so I was actually thinking of the meatless lasagna. That's right. That must be difficult, yeah? I mean, like, do you miss eating meat? Mm, sorry. <laughs> no, no, um, not at all. I've been vegan for like nine years, so I don't really think about it anymore. I would never go back. I do admit, though, I still like the smell of meat. Mm -hmm. You know, espe especially bacon. Oh, hey, let me tell you, I hear you. I can't imagine a world without bacon. <laughs> really? You should try it sometime. You know, even just being vegan for like a month. I haven't been sick for like two years, and I swear it's because of my diet. Really? Well, that's crazy. You know, doesn't it seem like every few years there's like a new food topic trending? You had GMOs, and then it was carbs, and, and paleo, and now the thing is like all meat is bad, even chicken. You know, what am I supposed to eat? Just like fruits and vegetables? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure. Fruits and vegetables, though. Maybe yeah. vegan's the way to go. Yeah. You know, I'll think about it. Anyway, uh, I haven't had their meatless lasagna, but I have had the regular one, and it is bomb. All right. Lasagna it is, then. So, uh, uh, what did you do today? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I will not respond to any more texts. No worries. Um, well, today's my day off, so I mostly just slept all day. Nice. You know, I love sleeping. That's my favorite hobby. Yes, mine too. Really? You know, maybe we should collaborate again sometime. Mmm, very funny. <laughs> I think we've also already done that. It was a bad day. What did you do today? Uh, let's see, uh, not much. I went to the gym. I, uh, I did some laundry. Oh, I, uh, I saw a horror film. Oh, nice. Which one? Um, uh, you know, I forget the name, but uh, it's about this couple, and they go out into the middle of nowhere to take a break from their daily life. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the husband handcuffs the wife to a bed to play some erotic games, but all of a sudden the husband has a heart attack, so the wife is just left there, handcuffed to the bed frame, and no one's there to help her. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that sounds intense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happens? Well, basically... <sighs> basically, she starts to, like, have all of these hallucin... <laughs> she starts to have all of these hallucinations. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna reply. It's fine. Yes. Yeah. I mean, no, please. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just real, real quick.
I think I could stay up here forever. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, it spoils you up here. It's too nice. How long did you say your aunt's gone? Um, about another month. So, another it's month. ours for the month if you want. Absolutely. Oh, she's lucky, man. Yeah. She gets to travel the world for work and then comes home to this. Yeah, but that's, she works super hard. You work super hard, you keep working hard, you can have it too. Yeah, one of these days, maybe. Do you have a good week at work? It was good. I don't want to talk about work, though. Let's just enjoy the pool and the view while we can, right? All right. All right. Yeah. Talk over here. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, there is something I can tell you about work. What's that? Did I tell you about the new guy, Lucas? No. Super fun guy. Everybody loves him. Um, he has been, you know, like joking around with everybody in the office, making everybody laugh. Um, and then Alfred, that old curmudgeon guy that, like, the man old dude. Yeah, has never once said hi to me. Yeah. Never smiles, nothing. Um, so Lucas is like trying to, uh, you know, break your shell, whatever, trying to talk to him. And he writes him this little note, like on this post-it, on this like sticky note. And it's like a picture, like an Uncle Sam, like I want you. And it says, like, I'm gonna get you to, to like smile at me, buddy. Like, I'm not gonna give up on you, like something like that. And of course, you know, like Alfred wouldn't typically go for something like that. Lucas, I swear got the guy to smile. No way. Someone walked by his office as Alfred's looking at it, and he's smiling. <laughs> Stinking Lucas just cheers everybody up and makes the whole office better. <laughs> he's a little jealous. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Alfred never says hi to me. But at the same time, I mean, like, this guy, he's just brightening up the whole office. It's awesome. It makes it a lot easier to go to work tomorrow. Sounds funny. Yeah. Well, I can meet him. Yeah, you'd love him. Yeah? Yeah, cool. One of these days. One of these days! Hey! Ah! Thank you. Oh, it's chilly when the sun goes down, huh? Hey. Hey. You know what I was thinking? What were you thinking? Well thinking since I'm always either at your place or you're always over at my place well, maybe we should move in together really well, what do you think I mean I have to tell my landlord like a month in advance but that shouldn't be a problem we could do that yeah does think my place is closer to work for both of us anyways yeah or we can find something else no I like your place we can live in your place yeah Look at us. <laughs> We're adults. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I see, I, I completely understand. Um, we don't typically weigh that installation fee, the reason being we don't make any money on the installation. That's actually the fee that we're charged from a third party, so. Yeah, but you know what? Let me um, let me go speak with my boss and see if there's anything we could do to make this process a little bit easier for you. How does that sound? Okay, hang tight for me. <laughs> hey, Nate. Hey, Bruce. How's it going? Good. Just about to close the deal with client. I got him on hold because he wants me to talk to the boss about waiving the installation fee. Hmm. Oh, man. People always expect things for free, huh? Nah. Just tell them we don't make anything off that. Yeah, yeah, I already did. I'm going to offer him the payment plan. That works 99% of the time. Smart. Come see me at my desk meeting. Sure.
Josh, you still there? Hey, sit down. How'd it go? Uh, all good, close the deal, easy peasy. I knew the second I walked into their house, they would be interested. Good job. You've had a good month, you made a lot of sales. I'm really proud of how far you've come. Thank you. I've been working hard and honestly, I love the idea that I'm contributing to the environment, selling these solar panels. Well, that's the right mindset, Nate. And that's exactly why I wanted to talk to you about something and see what you think about it. Yeah, sure. You know the office we opened in New York City a few months ago? Yeah, how's that going? Not so good, apparently. I was there last week and the place was a complete shit show. That sucks. The sales team is eager to, to learn, but Ron, the guy I hired to train them, was a complete mess. He's never in the office. and did some social media stalking on him and found out he's always going to these yacht parties and getting trashed. <laughs> really? Yeah. I talked to another guy in the office who said on the rare occasion that he does make it in, he's usually hung over and sleeping at his desk. While the sales team is out there trying to make sales. And when they fuck up and they need guidance, the guy they're supposed to go to is crashed at his desk. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's where you come in. I want you to go over there and get that team going. I can't think of a better manager than yourself. New York, me, a manager. Wow, Bruce, that's an amazing opportunity. Well, you deserve it. And it's only for six months just to get the ball rolling. After that, you'll come back here, you'll still be a manager, but we'll give you a 50% increase in your base salary. Plus, you'll get a percentage of the sales that your entire team makes. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome. I, I've always wanted to train a team of people. You know? I, don't, I don't know what to say. Um, think about it, and uh, I'll give you an answer in the morning. No, 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 no. This is not one of those times when you think about it. You say, thank you, and when do I leave? I just wanted to talk to Jessica, you know, before I made any decisions. Listen, Nate. You're a smart guy. You don't want to be knocking on doors for the rest of your life. And Jessica, she'll be happy that you're making a lot more money. Maybe you can buy her some nice gifts. And six months goes by in a flash. Any chance it'd last longer than six months? No chance. The big sales are still here, so I'll need you to come back here and head up this team. Yeah, I guess six months isn't that long. Kind of been wanting a change of air for a while now anyways. Well, that's the spirit. And as for Jessica, let me tell you something. I've been traveling back and forth to the East Coast since I've been married, and my wife and I are still together. Still going strong for 22 years. 22 years. Wow. Oh, hey. You want to see the apartment we're going to put you up in? Come here. Yeah. Come on. Let's see. Okay, so this it overlooks Central Park. This is the view from wow. the balcony. <laughs> Living room, 24-7 security. Check this out, parking in the basement. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, wow. yeah. thanks for waiting. Yeah, no worries. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, what have you been up to? Um, pretty busy with work, I guess. I have to read these contracts that my boss has drafted and make sure they look okay. It's a little stressful just because the deadlines are pretty tight. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll be just fine. I mean, you're very smart and very dedicated. Thanks. Yeah, it's just a lot of responsibility. Um, they know what they're doing, but if something's wrong and I don't catch it, it's my fault and I'm pretty much screwed. Oh yeah, I mean, hey, I hear you. It's, it does not seem fun. No. So what's up with you? Honestly, I don't know. I was kind of surprised that you contacted me after two weeks of not talking, you know? I managed to resuscitate a ghost. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, obviously you ghosted me after a month of dating. Honestly, I didn't feel great about it. Ghosted? Yeah. Like when instead of just Telling someone you don't want to see them anymore, you just cut them off completely? Okay, well, I didn't ghost you. We just stopped talking. Yeah, what's the difference? I mean, you never texted me again after we went out to that restaurant in Pasadena. 
Okay, well, you never texted me either. I mean, ghosting is when you actually ignore someone's attempts to contact you. Yeah, whatever. Why didn't you contact me then? I just thought that, you know, maybe you weren't interested anymore. Oh. Why? I don't know. Maybe the way you were communicating with me? I just got tired of the chase. Always texting, calling you first. It seemed like someone else was on your mind. Why did you think that? Oh, that night at the restaurant, mainly. I mean, you were in your phone all night, and whenever you got a text message, this smile just came across your face, so I don't know. Oh. Well, there wasn't anyone else I was seeing. Oh my god. No, 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 it was just my friend Rachel. She was texting me all those photos of her, like, trying on old dresses before she went out. Some of them were ridiculous. That was it. Okay. So why didn't you contact me? I guess... I guess I just didn't think you wanted to see me. I thought you seemed kind of distant. And, I don't know, maybe you were just looking for something fun. Which, honestly, isn't really what I'm looking for. Well, I mean, hey, I'm not looking for a no-strings situation either, so... Okay. <laughs> I guess I had the wrong impression. <laughs> yeah, I think we both knew. So, uh, now that that's sorted out, can we start over? I mean, I don't know, we could catch a movie or something. Okay, yeah. What kind of movie? Uh, you like thrillers? Hmm. Or we could see a rom-com, it's fine. Oh, no, 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 I was just trying to think of some thrillers that have come out recently. I love thrillers, I would be totally down for that. Cool. Hey, what about that one you were telling me about the last time we went out? Uh, which one? The, um, the creepy movie with the woman that gets her hands handcuffed to the bed while her husband has a heart attack. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, that one's not in theaters. Uh, I stream that. Oh. Well, I mean, we could just do something else then. I mean, if you want, you know, we could do that. Come on, I mean, Netflix and chill. Shut up. <laughs> I just want to go into a food coma. <laughs> I'm so stuffed. Let's just go digest. Oh, it's so pretty outside. <sighs> Couch. It is nice. It's really nice. It's a pretty clear night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, picked a good restaurant tonight. It's authentic Italian food. Mm, good. I'm glad your belly is happy and full. You know that is one of De Niro's favorite <laughs> restaurants. What? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Serious. That was so rude. <laughs> I'm serious. I believe you. I believe, I just. I'm sorry. It was. I just. As soon as you said De Niro, I just pictured Lucas's face doing his De Niro impression, and it's ridiculous. Anyway, I can't. Is De Niro it's, impression? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> oh, Lucas. It's a little too funny, isn't it? Are you jealous? Jealous? That face says it jealous. all right there. I'm just saying, you talk about Lucas more than you talk about anybody else. Okay, I also talk about my 70-year-old landlord. A lot. A lot. Too much, probably. <laughs> I think I have a thing for him, too. No. No. Oh, speaking of my landlord, I gave him my 30 days. Oh. He's, like, super bummed, but, you know. Um, I completely forgot to tell you, um, talked to my boss today, uh, do you want to come sit down? Yeah, is everything? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, good, I think. Um, okay. you know, my boss called me into his office and he told me what a great job I've been doing lately and you know, I've been closing a lot of deals and... He's really proud of me, and um, he kind of well, he wants to promote me. Babe, 
Oh yeah. my god, that's awesome. That's yeah. And you had me so worried. For a I second. know, but you you know, we're opening the new branch in New York. Yeah. And so, the manager they had it didn't really work out. So, he wants to send me up there to uh, to New York. Yeah, to kind of train mm -hmm. their sales team and get everything off the ground and running. How and long would you be there? It'd be for six months. You know, I've, I've never been in a management position before, and I have like six or eight people under me. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. I'll just tell them I'm not interested in it. And no, 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 I'll no. Find shh, something shh, else shh, here. Sh shut your beautiful <laughs> face. No, I'm so excited for you. I'm just really sad for me because I'm not gonna have you here. It'll only be for six months. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's not that long. Right? I mean, that's nothing. Right. It's like, what, half a year? Sure it's okay? Yes. Uh, <sighs> wow, that's weird. We've never spent that much time apart before. I know. We can talk every day. Skype or... Yeah. I miss you. I miss you too. I'm also really excited for you. Thank you. Congratulations. It's actually kind of perfect timing because my aunt is now going to Japan. I know, uh, but really? yeah, but this is gonna be wide open, so I can so, move out, hang out here. So you get to stay here some more. Mm-hmm. Don't look at me like that. Oh, oh it's okay. such a rough life. I you got know, here. but I'm gonna be all alone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just feel be like, right. just feel sad for me for like a second, okay? okay. And then I can feel like super excited for okay. you. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh. Okay, man. How's it going? Thank you. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, it's going, it's going. You know, same old, same old, still same job, same apartment, same life. Good. Glad to hear you're doing well. How's everything with you? Good. Good. Actually, uh, actually just got a job offer to move up to New York, be a manager for six months at our company's office up there. New York? All right, that sounds exciting. Yeah. So, what did you say? I said yes. It's a huge promotion, plus it's only six months, so why not? With that, my boss didn't really give me much of an option. Didn't let me think about it, so. <laughs> well, it sounds like a great opportunity. I think so. What did Jessica say about it? Well, she was a little upset at first. We had we had just agreed to move in together, like mm -hmm. right before I got this offer. But she understands that it's a big opportunity, so I think she's happy about it. Moving in together, you know, that's a big step. Congrats. Yeah. Well, I guess that won't be happening. Not for six months, at least. Yeah. Oh, wait, did you know that uh, Erica recently moved to New York. Yeah, yeah, I follow her on Instagram. I don't plan on seeing her. I don't want to start any issues with Jess. <laughs> yeah, hey, I get it, I get it. So are you going to tell Jessica that Erica's there? It's not worth it. I don't want her to worry for no reason. Well, I think you should tell her. I mean, if she finds out that your ex is in the same city as you, she might not take it that well. It's not really what I'm worried about right now. Oh yeah, what are you worried about then? There's this coworker that Jess keeps talking about. This Lucas guy. She keeps talking about how funny he is and how everybody in the office loves him. Even the even the old guy who doesn't say hi to anybody says hi to Lucas. Oh come on. You don't think that she likes him like that. I mean, if she's comfortable enough to bring him up in front of you, that probably means that you have nothing to worry about, don't you think? Look, I'm, I'm almost positive that she wouldn't do anything like that with him, but we have never spent this much time apart. I don't want to be thinking the whole time that I'm in New York that she's spending all her free time with this other dude. Look, that's understandable, but she's a nice girl and I'm sure she'd never betray you. Besides, you need to be focused on other things right now, like how you two are going to stay in touch. 
Wish it were that easy. It's not. I need your help, man. Can I help? Sure, you got it. Wait, I'm not following her, man. No, no, I don't want you to follow her. Okay. So what do you need from me? It's, it's a pretty big favor. You might think I'm crazy. Okay, just say. Come on, what is it? I want you to try and seduce her. What? No. <laughs> No, no, you're joking. I'm dead serious. Yeah, she's your girlfriend, man. You're about to move in with her. I, I don't want to be remembered as the guy who tried to seduce her. Imagine if you marry her, then no, come yes, on. exactly. That's exactly it. What if I marry her? And then I find out later that she slept with her coworker or some other guy. Don't you think it's a little too late at that point? Well, yeah. Th this is very weird. No one requests this. I mean, do you realize how absurd this sounds? I mean, we're not teenagers anymore, man. I would do whatever I can to help you, but... You know, you're like a brother to me, but this is absolutely crazy. Come on, dude. Okay, imagine this scenario. I try to seduce her. She most likely will reject me. And from then on, I'm labeled as your creepy friend who has no sense of boundaries. I'll be the unwanted guest at all of your parties and events. And imagine me being the best man at your wedding after something like that. I can't imagine it. So why me, man? Why can't you find someone else to do this? Because out of all of my friends, out of everybody I could possibly ask to do this, you're the only one she trusts. You're my best friend, man. She trusts me. Oh, for what? She trusts you enough to spend some time alone with you. She's absolutely crazy. Okay, um, say that I agreed to do this, and I'm not agreeing. When? Just how would I even approach her? There's gotta be some places that y'all go in common. Where did both of you hang out? I don't know. Well? Jess? 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 Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I was really... Yeah, yeah, no, you're killing it on there. <laughs> How you, you been? I've been good. Good? Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, work's been good. I... Awesome. Yeah, have you been? I thought, I thought you usually go to the gym during the day. I never... Yeah, 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 I normally do, but, uh, you know, new management at the restaurant, so... My schedule's a little crazy right now. Sure, yeah. So, uh, Nate's going to New York soon? Yeah, he is. How are you doing about that? Yeah, I'm really excited for him, so it's it's great. Um, it's only six months, but it'll go by fast. Plus, we're going to Skype every day and keep in touch and everything. I might go visit him. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And while you're here, don't think about it too much, because it'll be over before you know it. Exactly. Plus, then uh, it gives me time to, you know, work out every day, work on my perfect body so he sees what he's missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks. Hit my stuff and I'll cool. catch you in a little bit. Okay, cool. Hey, Jess. Totally forgot to mention this earlier, but there's this bar that opened down the street. I'm doing a promo for dollar drinks this weekend. Dollar drinks? Yeah. That's unheard of in LA. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's great, yeah, we gotta go. Uh, I think Nate has, like, next Friday off. Well, you see, it's a promo. It's opening weekend, and today's the last day. I'm going right after I shower up. Um, you're welcome to come if you're free. Um, yeah. No, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, let's, let's go. 
Cool. I just need a, I need a change and everything. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. No, shower up. Like um, 20 minutes, is that cool? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds okay, good. cool. I'll see you in a minute. I'll do. Hey, so this is it. Oh, I don't remember this. I remember this used to be the Blind Gypsy. Oh, that was like a billion years ago. The place has changed management like four times since okay, then. Well, it's a really hard business to keep going, especially now. Right? Oh, yeah? Hey, man. Hey, Nate. How'd it go? How'd it go what? Come on, dude. Stop being funny. Jess texted me last night. She said she ran into you at the gym. Y'all were going to the bar afterwards. So what happened? Well, what did she tell you about it? She texted me when I was at dinner with my boss and some investors. I didn't reply because I didn't want to interrupt. So you ignored her? Yeah, that was the whole plan. To see what she would do when she was alone with you. So, what happened? Okay, well, I went to the gym because you told me that she's normally there after nine, and she was. So I, I told her about this new bar that was opening up down the street, so we went to the grand opening, had a couple drinks. Okay, so what happened after the bar? Well, first we got a little drunk because, you know, we had a couple shots. Go on. Oh my God. She was so rude. I know. How do they expect to keep a business going if that's their service? Oh, dollar drinks, maybe? Yeah, yeah, as long as it lasts. Hey, uh, let me walk you to your car. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is my car. Yep. Hey, uh, listen. Uh, I hope you have fun tonight. I did. I wish Nate could have come, though. Yeah, well, next time. Yeah. Oh. No, I got it. Sorry, I'm, I'm drunk. Yeah, well, it is difficult to say no to dollar shots. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know if tequila was the best option for me. Yeah, but it was in a plastic bottle. That's where they keep all the classy <laughs> stuff. You know that. Anyways, are you sure that you should drive? I don't want you oh. getting a DUI or anything happening. No, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna sleep in the back for like an hour until I feel like I can. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. It's not a bad idea, but um, I'm actually like five blocks this way. If you want a couch to crash on, you have one. It's up to you and you can go to work in the morning and play it safe tonight. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you coming or not? Here we are. Make yourself at home. Thanks. I'm gonna go get you some blankets so you don't freeze. Here you are. Thank you. Mm, anytime. And this is for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Relax, it's something I ask everybody. How do you really measure the strength of a relationship? Oh, that's a really, it's a deep question. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess it would depend on the bond between the people in it. Yeah, but I mean, how can you test what a relationship would be able to really endure? Well, you'd have to go through something major, right? 
like something that's out of the ordinary, not, you know, some drastic event or something. Okay, um, can you give me any examples? Um, I don't know, some big difference in priorities or some big change or something. Yeah, no, okay, you have good ones, but uh, what about distance? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess that's a good example. Why are you asking me all this? <laughs> I'm just a curious person. I like to ask complicated questions. Sorry. No worries. I mean, you know, obviously, obviously Nate and I are gonna be going through distance and that's gonna be a test on our relationship. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that's a good example of of what you're talking about. Yeah. And, you know, I think that you guys are gonna do just fine. I mean, after all, I'll be here watching you and you know, so will Erica with Nate. Erica? Nate's ex? She's in New York? You didn't know. No, I had no idea. What is she doing in New York? Well, she moved there to pursue her dream, acting on Broadway. She's been there for a couple months now, actually. Really? Hey, I follow her on Instagram. That's how I know about this. Did Nate mention anything about this to you? Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> he said that he's gonna avoid her, so that he doesn't create any unnecessary issues between you and him. All right, so then I guess the reason he didn't tell me is just because he forgot, right? Because it's not a big deal to move to the same city as your ex. Why would that be relevant information to tell me? <laughs> yeah, no, you do have a point. It kind of is. And I'm sure that he just didn't want you to worry while he was away. Worry? Is there something I should worry about? I mean, if if... He's so secure in his intention. I mean, why is he so... Like, why hasn't he mentioned it to I can't fucking believe he didn't mention it to me. You think he will? I don't know. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. I'm... You know, big believer in the theory that... If a relationship is strong enough, like... <laughs> Even if Nate and Erica hang out, there's nothing to worry about. Like us right now, for example. We can hang out. Nothing to worry about because if anything did happen, that would mean that you don't love Nate enough to be exclusive with him. And that you guys aren't even supposed to be together. And obviously the same thing goes for Nate too. I mean, if he really did anything with her and yeah, I think he'll be fine, but that would mean that he doesn't love you enough to resist any temptation that might occur. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, if anything were to happen, it would just mean that we weren't meant to be. Yeah, exactly. Take us for example, like, no matter how close I get to you. We've got nothing to worry about because you really love him. Right. And, um, you know, even if I touched you, there's nothing to worry about because you really care about him. Well. And even... If I kissed you. I need to go. <laughs> Why are you running away? What? Are you afraid of what you might do? Why are you doing this? Because I want you two to be happy, and if you can't even endure stuff like this, then why even be together at all? 
I'm not doing anything. I'm actually leaving. You can't control how you feel, so you're avoiding it. You know, you can believe whatever you want. I will. You know what, I don't run away from shit, okay? I can stay here because I know my intentions and you can go sleep in your room. Sure. Good night. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you scared the shit out of me. <sighs> Talking about you kissed her and then she was kissing you back. Well, and... she I didn't say that she kissed me back. I mean, it was so quick that she didn't have time to realize what happened. Whatever, man. It's just a kiss, big fucking deal. God, you start telling that story, I'm just picturing in my head that y'all are hooking up and you... I don't even want to think about it. The important thing is that I was wrong about it. Well, there is something else. Look, man, I'm so sorry. I had no idea that this is how it would have happened. I asked you to do it. Don't even, don't even think about it. Well, it wasn't just her. I mean, alcohol was involved too, obviously. What did she say after? She just made me promise not to tell you. Really? She felt pretty guilty about it. Yeah, she should feel really guilty about it. What are you going to do? I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to wait until she confesses. And if she doesn't confess? She'll confess. And if she doesn't, I'll find one way or another to make her. And if she confesses, what are you going to do at that point? I'm going to break up with her, and I'm never going to see her again. God, man, the... Why don't you just break up with her now? I want her to feel all of this. I want her to feel all the guilt and all the shame for doing this to me. Breaking up with her now would be way too easy on her. I want to see how far she'll go. possible for both of us, so I'm just gonna go to the point. Okay. So, uh, I think it's not gonna work out. And we should stop seeing each other. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious right now, or if you're just joking around, Amber. or... Oh. Wow, that's unexpected. Sorry, I, I think it's for the best. Okay. 
well um thanks for coming here and telling me that in person i guess especially since we're not really in a relationship yet well yeah honestly i felt bad about the way i handled things before mm. and i thought that i owed you this i mean coming here and telling you in person no ghosting this time um thanks for that i guess amber you're a great girl you're gonna find someone else just as great it's just i'm not that person sure but still i i don't know i guess i thought it was going pretty well between us mm -hmm. I mean, even if we were just getting to know each other. Well, yeah, I mean, things weren't going bad. So why don't you want to see me anymore? I mean, is there someone else? No, I... I just... need some time. Be by myself, and... I can't be in a relationship right now. Fine. Sure. Um, okay. Goodbye, John. Bye. Bye. No, I'm sorry. That is bullshit. Three weeks ago, we met up and you told me that you were looking for a relationship. And, and now you're saying, oh no, you don't want anything serious? Come on, at least have the dignity to admit that you just don't like me. Th that's not true. I liked you enough to hang out with you several times. Okay, then what happened? I mean, I get it. Fine, I understand. You just don't want to be with me. But what, you just woke up this morning and thought, oh, what am I doing with her? Okay, uh... 100% honest? Yes, please. There's someone else. Oh. And do you love her? <laughs> no. No, I'm not in love. But you really like her? I think so. Uh, I don't know. But she loves you. I don't think she does. But she at least likes you, right? I hon honestly, I don't know. It's. Very complicated. Jesus. Okay, but she at least knows that you like her, right? I don't think so. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you tell her that? So... How are you feeling? Uh, I don't know, John, what do you think? I mean, how do you feel? I mean, like everything's fucked up? Yeah, well, I'm not alone there. Yeah, sure. I have some errands up around. I can't really stay long. Oh, yeah, no, right, totally. Um, I really don't know how to tell you this. Why don't you just try? Okay, um... Nate knows everything about what? us. What? John, you promised that you wouldn't say anything. It was just a one-time no, mistake. He asked me to do this, Jess. He oh asked God. me to seduce you. What? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do that? Because he doesn't trust you, okay? Uh, he's moving out of state and he's afraid that you're gonna go off and hook up with that funny coworker of yours that you always rave about when you're in front of him. Uh, Lucas? Are you kidding right now because this isn't fucking funny? No, I'm serious. He designed this sort of trust test for you and I wish I was joking, trust me. God. This is completely crazy. And you agreed to do this. You played me into cheating on him with you so that he could Prove a point? Why couldn't he just confront me? Because that's not the type of guy that Nate is. Like, look, Jess, unfortunately, Nate's not the same guy that 
I knew in middle school. And he's not the same guy that you fell in love with either. Okay, well, you agreed to do it, so you're not that great either. Yeah, I know. And for that, I apologize, okay? You know, you're not really an angel either. I mean, I didn't exactly make you sleep with me, did I? No, but I felt like shit about it since. I mean, I slept with his best friend. And now you're telling me that you guys planned this. I mean, this is sick. That is fucking sick. You know what? I'm, I'm leaving. Don't. Why? Because this is, jeez, this is so fucked up. And you know, it, in one way, it's everybody's fault. But now we know that you two weren't meant to be together. OK, why are you telling me all of this, John? Does pointing out how shitty my relationship is relieve you of some of the guilt or something? I'm not trying to justify what I did. OK, then why am I here, John? Because maybe I haven't been able to stop thinking about you since that night. Oh, my God. So you called me today to tell me that you have feelings for me. What do you expect me to say? Oh, uh, thanks for pointing out how shitty my relationship is. Oh, hey, since Nate's out of town, why don't we get together instead? Yeah, well, not exactly. Leave me alone. Just wait. You, one minute, please. What? What? What do you want? What are you going to do with Nate? I don't know, but since apparently he already knows, I'm sure it's going to come up. Yeah, well, what if it doesn't? I mean, it's got to, right? If he cares at all. Mm. Babe. I forgot to tell you about the craziest thing that happened at work. Lucas, do you remember? Yeah. He got fired. Really? Because, first of all, he lied on his resume but he was planning on robbing the bank that his girlfriend worked at. They like found all these plans and everything, and when they looked into it, they found out that he had this whole like criminal record that like somehow they overlooked during the interview process. Isn't that crazy? No kidding. Yeah. That is insane. It's like, I, anyway, so now they're like investigating the whole thing. It's a big nightmare, but. Uh, it's like more interesting dude than I thought. Yeah, right? He has this like whole double life. Oh, there's something else I wanted to tell you. Um, so I was at the gym the other day, and I ran into John. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we were both there working out. Um, did he tell you that he saw me? Anyway, so he uh, was telling me about this like happy hour at the bar across the street. Is that your phone? Hold on a second. Hello? Yeah, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, what's up? By tomorrow? Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, all right. Everybody. Sorry about that. What were you saying? Um, I don't know. Uh... Probably not that important if you can't remember. Um, don't forget, I'm leaving at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. All right, I'll be over Monday night then. Okay, cool. <laughs> Jessica. He didn't mention it to me. Why? He didn't. No. Actually, he acted completely normal. You did tell him, right? You didn't lie about that. No, oh, I didn't lie to you. I told them everything about us. Well, then, why didn't he say anything? Does he even care? I think that he's waiting for you to confess. What makes him so sure that I would confess? Does he know that I know about plan? 
I, I can't tell him about that. Well, then what is he waiting for? What if I don't say anything? Then what, he's just gonna go to New York and break up with me over the phone? Or, or pretend like nothing ever happened? I think that he's pretty sure that you're gonna come clean about this soon. He doesn't view you as the type of person that can hold a secret and it, I don't know, he didn't really explain it to me. What I do know is that when you do confess, that's when he plans on breaking up with her. So he's just, he's just trying to punish me by drawing it out and then ending it anyway? God, what kind of person does this? This is so fucked up. Hey, he's gonna leave soon. <sighs> Whatever you two tell each other, it's going to end. It's for the best that it does. I think. Look, I mean, do you really want to be with someone like that after knowing all this? I mean, what we did was wrong. But at the end of the day, it would never would have happened if Nate didn't set it up. And part of the reason that it happened is because of how close we are. For what it's worth, I didn't think you were going to do anything with that co I wasn't. Yeah, I know. You're smart. You care. You're absolutely beautiful. He doesn't deserve someone like you, so just, please, give me a chance. I'm not gonna hurt you like he did. Bruce, it's Nate. Hey, what's going on? Oh, really? I think that's the last of it. <clears throat> All ready to go. <laughs> what? I know. Six months is a long time. Yeah, it's far. Yeah. New York is like the other side of the world, basically. <laughs> Hardly. Like halfway, maybe? A quarter of the way? Yeah, maybe a quarter. I'll be all right, though. I know. I'm... I'm excited for you. Yeah. Got nothing to worry about. We trust each other. Yeah. yeah. It's a big opportunity. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I am. I'm just gonna miss you. Gonna miss you, too. Love you. I love you. Don't cry every day. <laughs> I'll try not to. Got to be a big boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Can we just stay here for a minute? For a minute. <sighs> you know what's so great about us? I mean, besides the fact that we're just both devastatingly attractive. Well, yeah, besides that. What? Wow. What is so great about us? We, mm -hmm. unlike all these other chumps around here, still believe in commitment. Relationships are changing, and people don't believe in that anymore. Yeah. That's what makes us so strong. It makes us so good together, you know. We can always trust each other, no matter what. Even with all these crazy dating apps and social media, we're always on us in a world where it's so easy to cheat now. But I know that I can trust you no matter what, because we tell each other everything. That's what a good relationship's built on. It's built on that trust and that loyalty, and that honesty. No, 
and that no matter what, I don't have to worry about anything. And same for you. Right? Everything okay? Um, I haven't been completely honest with you or completely loyal. What are you talking about? So a couple of weeks ago, I was working out. And I ran into John. Yeah, you told me that. Um, well, I didn't mention that we... Uh, that bar across the street had just opened up. Remember that was 1600 or something? Yeah. They're having this promotion that week. It's, it's new, it, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so we went over to check it out and uh, we got really drunk and 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 we kissed. Um, did you? I'm sorry. It was just, it was a stupid. I'm so sorry. I don't know. It was like we were just drunk. We were so, so drunk. Guilty for weeks. Weeks about going on this trip. I know. I'm afraid of hurting sorry. you. I know. Hurting please, us. Please, please. I just can we talk about it, please? I'm sorry. I almost didn't even take this job. I'm sorry. I need you to go. <laughs> go. I said go. Get out. I don't want to see you again. <sighs> yeah, man, she just left. Yeah, come on up. Hey, what's up, man? Come on in. Can you get you anything? Water, uh, soda, anything? Yeah, water's great. Water's great. So how'd it go? Everything went perfect, exactly how we planned it. She admitted everything. Mm -hmm. Just came right out and said it. Nice. I'm scot free. I'm officially single again. Finally, finally. It's good to hear. Single, ready to take on New York. Look at you. No, no I thought I, I thought I told you. Did I not? Last week, my boss called. It's. It fell through, man. I'm, I'm not going to New York. My, my bags are empty. There's nothing in them. Oh, shit. You all right, man? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the best, really. I mean... Cool, cool. Now that I'm, I'm free and... So... Out of the game. 
you're gonna tell Jess that you're still living in LA, right? I don't know why I would. I don't know her or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is on me. Yeah. Look, dude, I know you. I know you're still feeling weird about it, but don't. All right. I asked you to do this, and you you stuck your neck out there, and you did it for me. You have nothing to feel guilty about, man. No, no, no. Glad what? you did it. I was. I know. Um. I was going down, man. Yeah. If it's not for you, she would have slept with somebody else, and I never would have known. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. If I proposed or something crazy, found out later. Yeah, Nate, uh, no, I've actually, uh, you know, I've, I've seen Jess a couple times. <laughs> she hit you up again? She's yeah. freaking ruthless, man. I, I mean, who are you texting? Hey, I can't wait to see you again, Jess. She's seriously hitting you up right now. She didn't leave here two minutes ago, man. I'm telling you, this well, she was crazy. upset. You saved my life, man. Of course. You're not gonna see her again, right? Nate, I've been seeing her. I've been texting her. This has been going on ever since that night. It's not gonna happen again, right, John? John. What are you thinking, man? Once a cheater is always a cheater. If she's willing to do it to me, she's willing to do it to you. I don't want to... Oh my God. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know what, fine. But when she does the same shit to you, don't come crying to me, because I won't be around here. If you do this, we're done, man. Wow. Well, like I said, I'm sorry. John. John!